Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day to you, wherever and whenever you're watching. My name is Cap, and welcome to episode 7 on the Hideaway SMP. A lot's happened since the last episode, like me reaching 100 subscribers so quickly. I'm very grateful, of course. But I've already done a video for that, so let's move on to what I mainly did today, which was starting work on the canal that I've mentioned quite a few times here and there. Not sure how many of them have made it to the edit, but anyway, I got my builder's hat on, and I set out to put down little markers, little orange posts and signs, to show the path that the canal will take in a way that means I can adjust it if I need to. And then uh, there's this valley between Frost and Lily's base will require quite a high, long elevated section. So I put these little temporary frames up to show that this is the level the canal will go. It will probably go about here. And it gives the other hideaways a bit of a chance to let me know if it's about to be built somewhere that's not convenient for them or interferes with any builds that they might be doing. The reason I wanted to make a canal network is that not only have boats been greatly improved in recent versions, especially with the, the chest boat. That would make the canal quite a good way to get goods around, and a nice way to enjoy the scenery as well. I know that minecart networks are very popular, but they're just not quite as aesthetic as a network of uh, canals. So from there, I decided to steer the canal through Lily's Tunnel to the Two Pints Tavern on the other side of the hill. Now, Two Pints Tavern made me think, because it presents a bit of a challenge. Either the canal is going to go alongside his tavern, um, kind of elevated in a way that's going to obstruct the side of it, or and I still need to speak to Dupines about this, maybe through the upper floor of the tavern. Like, really becoming part of it, because canal-side taverns are quite a common thing in the UK. And, as you could see, I attracted some unwelcome guests. From the Two Pines Tavern, the canal will then take a turn southwards towards Holly's base, and that's where the choice of elevation for this canal makes it interesting, because it means that in a lot of places I get to follow the contours of the terrain. Like I'm doing here, I'm just kind of digging out where the canal would be to get a feel for it. I might have to cut in quite deep in that part and then make a slight elevated section just after it. I then just did a bit of farming, uh, started a sugarcane farm, and got on with the first part of the canal, right next to my base. Right then, um, so I've decided to call this the 99 Canal, because that would make it easy to remember that it's at a level of Y equals 99. Um, and I think the bit near my base should go kind of inside the side of the hill here. That would be cool. So... Time to start digging. Ah, cool! Efficiency 3 means I could just spray through the dirt. Amazing. This efficiency 3 pick as well. Pretty nifty. So this should all be brick. I think my, my Coco Breen... Breen? I 
I think my cocoa bean um, farm thing here can go for now, because I do have a lot of cocoa beans and not a lot of plans for them. Based on my usual philosophy of making things look strong and, you know, look properly built, I think this should all be... Like, it would be rough stone underneath, wouldn't it? And then brickwork for the side of the actual canal. I think this is actually going to extend further that way towards Opico's. But I'll start with this bit, because I, I know what's going on here. Okay, so this will be the height of it. How much headspace do you need, really? Is this fine? Is too fine? Yeah, two two is fine. This is a this is okay. This is great in fact. We can put the materials in here. I wonder if this overhang could be made of wood. How's this looking? Hmm. So this can be the, the dock area for my base, and then we'll just carry on uh, digging a bit further on. Do I, in fact, start here? I think, I think yes. But is this okay for getting a boat through, or does it need to be wider? I think it needs to be wider than that. We'll see. Okay, is this now wide enough? Kind of. Technically yes, but practically no. <laughs> This is agony. Yeah, you can't live like this. This is fine. Alright then, we're going a little bit wider. Once you start bouncing off the edges... <laughs> oh, it's painful. I think I might have to make a point of avoiding diagonal sections if they're going to be like that. But instead of avoiding diagonal sections altogether, I just decided to make them wide enough. And so that the width would match with the straight sections, I also widened the straight section near to my base. Soon, however, I would get a very unexpected, but very welcome, visit from a friend. I have to be honest, I just really enjoyed, uh, putting together this camera sequence, following a Pico running straight to my base after logging in. sneaky sometimes. So sneaky that I didn't see her approaching at all until about here when uh, I nearly jumped out of my skin. <laughs> so I showed her what I'd been doing so far and invited her to have a look along the canal and take it for a little test run. She said it was looking cool. 
And this was all the motivation I needed to get on with the rest of the canal and the aqueduct. lost count of how many times I got attacked by pillagers while I was doing this. So this first pillar that I built would set the design for the entire aqueduct. I decided to go for the smallest width and depth possible that you could sail a boat through. Which is a lot like real aqueducts. They want to minimize the amount of water they're carrying to reduce the amount of weight. So I, I made a first concept for an archway and just immediately liked it and decided that's what I'm going with. So I counted out the spacings for the rest of the pillars and by pure coincidence lined up perfectly with the first pillar I'd built. Before I knew it, the hours had flown by and uh, I'd made the first major section of the canal, which is now open and ready to use. Y you might notice me glitching in and out of existence in this scene. I don't know what happened with replay mod, but while I was sailing in the boat, I just kept glitching through the water. I love the way it turned out though. For me, the cherry on the cake is the little chiselled brick at the top of each pillar. I then took my efforts over to the Birchwood rest stop because I'd been having thoughts about how I wanted each part of the canal to match its surroundings as much as possible, and going through a birch forest, I went with birch logs. So I did what I'd done before and just ran up and down the length of where the canal was going to be, digging tunnels and cutting channels where required. And I just kept my mic switched off and got on with building. It's these sorts of times in Minecraft that I like the most where I can just switch off my brain and get on with a build. I never go into these things with a plan. I just start building the part that I'm excited about right now, which is why I went over to the birch forest and decided to just do that one. Once so I've built a few different sections, I'll join them up in the middle. As I was doing this raised section of the canal, I realised that some parts of it conveniently lined up with existing trees. So I leant into that aspect and used the trees as supports for the small aqueducts there. And then, I decided to actually record some Minecraft first person. A few things have been going on in the spawn area, like the building of this, uh, this courthouse. I saw Lily building some of this on stream, on her stream and Frost stream. And the reason this courthouse has been built is because one of our players has been a little too trigger happy with his bow and arrow and he might have accidentally murdered two pints while he was building his tavern. Um, so they're going to be going to court about it and I believe I have been nominated as Frost's lawyer 
Um, mainly because I I wear this tie. No other reason. I'm not I'm not a lawyer. Do not take legal advice from me. <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure if a court date has been set yet. But it will be interesting to see how this goes. Aha! Two pints is on. I asked if he wanted to meet up to talk about how the canal meets up with his tavern. Really... Mm, I was just saying, also, I'm really hoping that I fixed the issue with my microphone cutting out at random. But as I started saying that, I noticed that my VU meter was not bouncing when I was talking, so... Mm. <laughs> so I don't know... Other than... Just re... While I'm in the middle of... Stops, what is going on? <laughs> Please help me! Someone help me! I don't know what's causing it. While I'm streaming, it's fine. I don't get this issue when I'm streaming. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's while I'm holding control. Holding control mutes... Mutes my microphone. This whole time, I've just been pressing the control key, and it's been muting my microphone, because I have that set as a hotkey in OBS for push to mute. On the one hand, I'm extremely happy that I finally found the cause of that, and on the other hand, I'm very, very annoyed that it was my fault. <laughs> Goodness me. Anyway. Uh, this is the tunnel known as Lily's Passage, which goes to... Two Points Tavern. And Lily has posed the idea of integrating the walkway tunnel with the canal by giving the canal a glass bottom so that you can uh, you could see through. You could see through the water. Is that Mr. Pints? Yes it is. Obviously, you see nothing uh, r with regards to my secret hiding spot, yeah? Secret hiding spot? Yeah, exactly. This one down here. You don't see it. Oh, this this super secret hiding spot here that's now... Yeah, yeah. yeah. ...on my YouTube video. On YouTube, yes. <laughs> it is now on the internet. <laughs> I'll, just, yeah, I'll pixelate the entire screen for that exactly, bit. Exactly, you saw nothing. Shall we talk about how the canal's going to get integrated into the tavern? Um... Yeah, so you've probably seen this this oh. monstrosity that I erected in front of the tavern. You did what now? I, I built this frame. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Out of wood. <laughs> um, so that's like, that's the elevation of the canal, but I wondered what your thoughts on it were. Whether to move it over a bit so it's like against the side wall of the tavern, or whether you want to build around it so you can sail into the tavern and hop out for a pint. Hmm. Like, well, wh where it goes in terms of side to side is a little bit flexible. If you stage. follow me inside a moment. Yeah? What swine? Hey. Ah, the filth! <laughs> Who's done this? Done what? Added pictures. Oh, put pictures on the walls. I thought you did this. Nay. I was about to compliment you on the, the decoration. There are... <laughs> fiends. Okay, so, uh, at the moment, this here is where your canal will connect to. Yeah. A window. So, um, where will people... I mean, it would be nice for people to sail in, 
but I don't want to deconstruct anything that I've got currently built because I'll do a bad job. I had to follow a design to make even the... Ooh, the hell is even that? Um, <laughs> sorry, I've just seen this picture. I don't know if you've got the same pictures that I have. Yeah, same pictures. Okay, yeah, okay. I... So there's a karate man with a giant finger. Yes. And a, um, the guy from King's Quest looking at a spider. Yes. This man is a little bit on fire, and he's okay with that. Yep. And what are, what are we doing here? We're, we're eating some extremely hot noodles. Yes. <laughs> Indeed we are. I quite like this. I like the height. I like it coming past. It's like a little tour, and we're like, ooh, there's two pints tavern, you know? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm swearing again. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> right. W where is he? <laughs> Pints. <laughs> Considering I'm soon to represent someone for shooting two points, I don't think it looks very good that I just shot two points. Um, <laughs> uh, is he gonna, is, is he close? Do I need to pick up his stuff? I might need to pick up his stuff. <laughs> I can't believe that's just happened. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> I was shooting the skeleton and like the one pixel of your shoulder entered my crosshair as I was firing. <laughs> I genuinely thought that was a skeleton. You'd have got away with that. It, it says in the chat what happened. Oh, I didn't even see. Yeah, you just, um, you just still got away with it. I, I, I'm <laughs> terrible for paying attention to that stuff. Um, oh, cool. Well, I'm glad you're okay with that because considering I, I'm soon going to be uh, representing someone. I was just, I was just about to say though, like given the accuracy of that skeleton shot, one would forgive me for almost thinking that Frost were around. Um, but you know, now that I know that it was you, I don't know. Perhaps I'll change my opinion on matters. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, uh, now that that is, uh, entirely forgiven, um, this bit of the canal. So, yeah, most of what I've been doing has been this canal and other parts of the canal and planning the canal and building the canal. It's all about the canal. And there's still a lot more work to do. Which I will... <laughs> oh dear, Two Pints isn't having a great time. Um, still a lot more work to be done. Which I'm sure I'll get on with between now and the next episode. But for now, thank you all for joining me. Best thing you can do for the YouTube algorithm is click another video on my channel. If you want to binge watch the series, I've made a playlist for that. Also, a little reminder that I stream on Twitch playing retro games from the 90s mainly. And, uh, see you guys next time. Bye for now. <laughs>